The Noise Home for Children saw the installation of their very own free library yesterday afternoon. The library was modeled after the Noise Home and was crafted by Kevin Crawford, a member of the St. Joseph Woodworkers Guild. Crawford spent over 70 hours designing and constructing the library using water-resistant PVC wood to ensure that it remains a staple and part of the Noise Home for many years to come. Chelsea Howlett, who's the executive director of the home, and Kevin Crawford share more on how the literary installment is leaving a positive impact on the community. This I thought was a great way for our kids to be able to be part of giving back to the community. We talk a lot about Gratitude Tuesdays um, and being grateful for what we have. And this will be part of our weekly routine is making sure that our books are full down there, that we're checking the guest book and making sure that everything that is needed down there is taken care of. They help so many kids that it's, you know, any help they can get, I think is worthwhile. And, you know, when I did this, it's, I've seen, you know, little free library boxes around. These are pretty common around the country. And, and, you know, it's nice for kids to have a place they can, you know, grab a book and read a book and share books with other people. The Noise Home had planned to unveil the new edition at their block party this Friday but has since canceled that event. The library can be found along Noise Boulevard or through littlefreelibrary.org.